We have one more day of adventure in the Pacific Northwest, starting out on the Washington side of the Columbia River Gorge and heading east. We found our first point of interest. And no, we didn't drive to England. This is a replica of Stonehenge. Dedicated in 1918 and finished in 1929, this was the first World War I memorial in the United States. It was built by Sam Hill. I can remember my grandma yelling at me, what in the Sam Hill? Quite often. It turns out it's because of this guy. Before moving to this area, he gained a reputation as being the most blasphemous and obscene swears in the Keweenaw Peninsula. So basically, he became a swear word. Hey everybody, what's up? We're still in the Pacific Northwest. Right now we're in Washington, heading to a ghost town. And I found Stonehenge. It's not the real Stonehenge. This is a war memorial to the soldiers in Klickitat who died in the war serving our country. And I greatly appreciate them. If it wasn't for them, None of the stuff we do around here would be possible. So thank you. But this is really interesting. This is, this is called Stonehenge. And it's right up on the cliffs above the Columbia River. There's some orchards over there for somebody's wine. Somebody's making wine around here. It's cold, it's a little gloomy. So, sounds like a good day to go see some ghost towns. Let's go see how many we can find. We'll give it our best shot. There's a squirrel hiding in the bushes. Can you see him? Can you see him? Where's, I see you. Where's Waldo? I zoomed in on Waldo. He's right there. Have you ever seen a pheasant in a tree? I don't think I have. There's another one below him too. Where is he? There he is. Oh, that's his girlfriend. Pheasant tree. Almost like a partridge in a pear tree, but a pheasant. <laughs> This is the little ghost town of Goodnow Hills. It was settled in 1865 as a small pioneer community located on the Columbia Hills.
It sounds like it was a ranching community at first, cattle and then to sheep, but now it seems like it's wine and wheat. This area is at the same latitude as the world's best wine regions. So if you want to do some wine sampling, from here all the way west to the Pacific Ocean, you can taste many wines from many vineyards. More vineyards than you can shake a stick at. So this is the ghost town of Goodno. Most of the properties are marked no trespassing, but I found one that's not. So we're gonna look in the window, hopefully see something cool. It doesn't look like a house. It sort of looks like it's a store or a kitchen. I don't know. None of this stuff is marked, so I have no idea. Looks like somebody lives down there. Well, looks like the back half collapsed.
There's an old bacon tin. I can see the chimney going up through there. There's a couple more buildings around here we'll go look at too. There's a house right over there. And it looked like there might be another building up the road. Oh man, look at the old stove. That's cool. Dodging nails. But I don't dare walk in this. The floor is pretty, looks pretty soft. But look at that old stove. That's cool. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, we're up to the house now. It doesn't look quite as old, but we'll go look anyway, because it's still abandoned. This is definitely old. Are the windows open? No. Nope. Wow, I can't believe. This was probably a pretty nice house at one time, but now it's just sitting here, rotting away. Well, they got a tree right in front of that door. <laughs> That's interesting. They still got a garbage can. And I'd say that chair and the table are probably from the 80s. Very interesting. See if there's anything in the shed. Nope, just garbage. Oh, well, there's a big old bowl over there looking at me. Oh, what are you doing? A door to the roof. <laughs> it's even a short door, looks like. water spigot that's an old window frame kinda that says rum on the side of it This looks like the separation, kind of. Old to new, maybe, I don't know. This is a weird house. Got some moss growing. That looked, 
almost looks like there's carpet underneath that moss, but maybe it's just all moss. Still furniture in there, wow. Okay, that's about all we can see here. That's all I could find at Goodno. We're off on our next quest to find another ghost town. Hopefully. Cross your fingers. We'll see how we do. Okay, I had to take a slight detour. I just stumbled upon Mary's Hill Road. Apparently this was the first paved road in the Pacific Northwest. Somebody experimented, they built a road here, and eventually somebody said, oh yeah, I like that. I'm gonna start paving roads everywhere. This was the first place in the Pacific Northwest to get pavement. And we're kind of in the middle of nowhere. And it's just a little 10 mile loop around a mountain, I believe. But it was an experiment. I think this dude used his own money and built this road. So, can you imagine forking out the money for a road? I can't. I don't even like forking out money for dinner. <laughs> Let alone a whole road. Mary's Hill is now a 6,000 acre property with the museum. They're trying to keep this habitat semi-natural. They lease it out to the farmers, ranchers. There's a lot of fox and deer that hide in the valleys. Well, this is another Sam Hill project. With the help of Sam Lancaster, in 1911 they built the first asphalt road in the state. This canyon's beautiful. Like, I bet you around the museum's pretty nice. So if you can come up here when they're open, I probably recommend it. I've never been there, but I would go. It looks pretty. We're going to keep going, see what else we can find here in Washington. Surprise, there's an abandoned structure right here. There's a guy up here too. I wonder if he's going to tell me to leave or if he's doing the same thing I am, just looking around. We'll go find out. See if we can make it up to the structure. I don't know how old it is. But it looks interesting. The 
Mary Hill Museum of Art was donated by Louis Fuller in 1917, a close friend of Sam Hill. It was Mr. Fuller's unfinished house. He wanted this museum for the public good and betterment of French art in the Pacific Northwest. Now we are on the search for another ghost town named Gilmer. Well, according to Google, this is the site of another ghost town, Gilmer. Gilmer gone. And for some reason, they didn't say it was a ghost town. They called it an extinct town, like the dinosaurs. I didn't bring my shovel, so I can't dig around for ghost town bones. <laughs> and I don't see nothing here. Oh well, it was a pretty drive up the canyon to get here. And we are in the Pacific Northwest, so we need to keep our eye out for Bigfoot. Now for a quick stop at a historic cemetery. This is the Chris Zeta Cemetery in Underwood. It is a very beautiful location for someone's final adventure. If only the grave markers could talk, I'm sure there are some amazing stories to be told. Okay, we're back on the Oregon side of the river, looking for more adventure. We got some old, and then we got some new. Before we head back to Utah. What in the Sam Hill?
I'm gonna head back to Utah and probably chase the snow the whole way there. So hopefully we make it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.